Hello, hello, hello. This is attorney Mike Grav. I'm coming to you from Chicago. As usual, as you can see, it's a special day. It's always a special day when it's happy hour. I, I busted the Fez out because I, I had numerous requests for the Fez while I was on Legal Bites, but I, I didn't. I did. I did. Uh, I Well, I put the Fez on, but not the Ascot. I thought the ass got I that that's that's a little too out there. I, th I think I have to save that for my own channel <laughs> for people who understand uh, why I'm wearing an ascot. I don't know. So I've been I've been doing the uh, the Depp Heard trial, and uh, I'll give a quick update on that. I, I put in the description that this is not about that, and it really isn't. I have a couple of fun clips, the usual sort of happy hour deal. But uh, while we're at it, the jury's got the case. They 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 finished the ar the closing arguments today. Jury's got the case, and apparently the jury went home. So they're going to come back and deliberate on Tuesday. So that's where we are with that. Uh, I was there for a lot of it. I got knocked out for a portion today because of, I, I don't know, I didn't have Wi-Fi. I think we had a storm roll through here in, in Chicago. So I think that was part of it. Um, but from what I saw today, I thought it went very well for, for Johnny Depp. I think that he will win the case. Um, you never know what a jury is going to do. I think a hung jury is another strong possibility. But if I had to guess right now, I would say Johnny Depp wins. Uh, who, who knows about damages? Damages are irrelevant. She can't pay them. You know, so it doesn't really matter if he, if he uh, gets a verdict for one dollar to win. Um, you know, if he got a big verdict, he, she can't pay it. She said she paid six million dollars in fees and had a seven million dollar uh, divorce settlement. And, you know, I'm sure all the other money spent. Yeah, you know, she's she's not fulfilling her other obligations. So I, I don't think think that they that could happen uh, theoretically she could get a hundred million dollars or whatever i think that's what they asked for in closing argument it wasn't clear to me um but uh, i don't think her her counterclaim has any merit whatsoever so that's that's the update on the amber heard situation but i i didn't i didn't come here for that i i really wanted to all right i, I can't deal with this anymore <laughs> I, I I'm I'm feeling like uh, I I can't remember the character's name, but the, uh, the guy from Scooby Doo is the only cartoon character I know who wears an ascot. T tell me in the chat what's who is that? Who's who's the cartoon character in Scooby Doo who wears an ascot? I'm I'm looking at myself going, you, you look like that guy. That, that's not good. All right. Um, wait. Oh, it's Fred. Thank you, Ziggy, for the facts. Fred, I, 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 I couldn't deal with looking like Fred. All right, so I got a couple of clips. Uh, I, I also went out of town and came back. I, I did a couple of videos last night, but I, I hadn't been around for a while. So these are old clips. I don't remember what's in there, but I, th I was putting them together for, for kind of a happy hour. So uh, that, that's what they are. Oh, look, we, we've got a friend here. Surprised he didn't come to a verdict yet for Amber and John. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I didn't think so. I mean, they give they give him a laptop with with all the exhibits from both sides. I mean, if they were to look at any of that, they they couldn't have gotten it done today. Yeah, all all fifteen thousand of them. That's I crazy. mean, there was so much material. Yeah. Oh, and I, I've mentioned this a couple times to people, like when they made fun of somebody messing up the exhibits, especially on uh, Amber Oh team. Lord. There's you know. I've been in trials where, like, okay, you have ten exhibits and you screw them up, like, so. Oh yeah, <laughs> exactly. I've yeah. I've screwed up a lot less exhibits. Yes, so um, that's very normal. I was uh, I was talking to Yesenia, my assistant, like literally twenty minutes ago, when we had this very same conversation. We're thinking about like prior trials. I'm like, oh, this is so much harder than people think. Yeah. 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 So I I thought they were really smooth when they were like playing audio in the middle. And then and then mm -hmm. giving an argument. Yeah, I thought. Low, they were I, good. Yeah, I, I thought all of them did a good time, good job. All right, so I've I've just got some uh, I, I've just got some goofy clips. I was just saying I don't, I don't remember because I, I recorded this stuff a while back. But th these are just this is laid back fun. Nope, it's it's, fun. it's it's cocktail hour, but but yeah. thank you thank you for coming on. I appreciate it. Yeah, let's. It is, but it is law stuff, so 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 you can chime in if you feel like it anytime.
Your Honor, is this considered a civil suit? Or should it be considered a civil suit with the papers that I did sign? Or which which papers that you signed? I don't know what you Okay, I remember this now. This is a short clip. This is Judge Simpson out of Michigan. He's good. This is a short clip, but you've got some poor attorney and and it's some uh like landlord tenant issue or whatever. But the judge does not like the terms in the contract. And the attorney probably has nothing to do with it, but uh, uh, oh, he gets skewered here. Oh, dying. Yeah, the the one you're looking at. The um, I'm not sure. The master copy, the master lease. Okay, so first of all, I don't know what a master lease is. There's no term in the law of a master lease. Yes, sir. So I'm assuming that there is some lease, I would presume, with whoever sublet it to you, this innovative investment group, with Valley Ranch. That is what I'm assuming. And I'm gonna need to see that lease. And that's going to have to be taken into account with this other residential lease agreement. Oh, I should have taken these gaps out. Well, and counsel, I'm just going to tell you. <laughs> this is good. Somebody better look at this. Yeah, Because this really does not fly. I'm <laughs> yeah, just, I, I understand that, Your Honor. I am briefly scanning just the late fee provision where it indicates that there would be a $50 late fee and then $100 liquidated damages. Well, I don't care if they do it all around the state. Welcome to Washington County. That is not what happens here. I, and that is illegal as all can be to have that liquidated damages. I mean, there is case law specifically on point that you cannot charge to the extent this individual is a tenant, that you can't charge a tenant liquidated damages. That is absolutely barred. And the very fact that your client has had an individual who may have been and I'm going to tell you, I'm not going to be very happy about it because it's a, it's obviously an individual that's in a desperate situation to get themselves rented. They're going to have some serious problems with just that provision. And I haven't even looked through the whole lease. I got to page two. I think that's on. I want a copy of the master lease, given also what I've seen. I want a copy of every rental agreement that they're calling these master leases Ouch. that occur in the 14A1 district, because that is my jurisdiction. Wow. <laughs> I mean, the, the, this is brutal. Like, I mean, you can relate to this poor attorney. He's, he's there like on an eviction proceeding or something, right? Yeah. His client has these these leases that don't comply with state law. Mm -hmm. He knows it. The first time the judge mentions it, he's like, yeah, I know. <laughs> well, and then the judge wants the rest of them. And I mean, I'm not going to tell the judge no, but I also want to say, like, you don't have the legal authority to see everything. Right, right. Like I, I don't, I don't think the judge really has that that authority here. I, I, and I love this judge. I do, I agree. But I think it's, I don't think the judge cares so much. He's, he's just expressing his outrage. Yeah. Oh, I agree. But I'm just saying. Um. Yeah. Yeah, I, but, but you're not going to mention it. You're gonna, not going to say, uh, you know, judge, on what authority are you are you requiring leases yeah, yeah. outside of the the the. You go ahead and be the guy who makes that statement, not me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's just interesting. This happens to be, by the way, I, I should do that. You do, um, you're in Ohio, right? Yes. What, and you do criminal? I, I do criminal, but I do, you know, general practice as well. I should, I, I should introduce you. Oh my God, I forgot. 
I just did a thing on Silly Chili. Um, uh, the, the, my audience doesn't know this, but we, we had a chat, I think – on Twitter or something, I don't know. Where where um you were you were t- talking about doing one with me about Chili De Castro. Yeah, he bent the bench warrant yesterday, so uh you know Yeah, I did one uh, I did one just making fun of of him uh uh dodging the bench warrant yesterday. Yeah. It, it was it was too much fun. We'll have to do that. There will be future stuff, but I did yeah. want your perspective as an Ohio attorney. Well yeah, yeah, he, he him bailing is the smartest thing he could have done, but now he's you know on the run so that'll be hilarious oh yeah i mean he's he's, uh, i mean it's a small charge but he's a fugitive from the law and he he goes on his channel and talks about his his big uh his big plan which is like the oldest stupid sovereign citizen plan in the book is to his plan is to his plan is to have a complete surveillance state that makes the saucy look like (laughs) Like yes. Everybody's wearing cameras and the policemen are on every corner. And oh, then there's re education buses with judges on them, which do like drumhead court marshals. Like, yeah, that, that sounds like due process. Yeah. And then yeah, you get that... re educated on the second floor and Oh, he's a who when he when he gets pulled in, he might get pulled in. I don't think he's in Ohio. I think he fled the jurisdiction. Mm-hmm. I think he knew enough to do that. Um yes. but... well, the way it works though in Ohio for the most part, like the court's got to put out a pickup radius for your warrant and most like muni warrants right like the county or the next county over so he could have fled to like the other end of the state yeah i mean i don't don't think they're going to drag him across the state you you know on this charge yeah that said though i am surprised he didn't nothing happened to him in youngstown um that is a that is a place that has a very long history with corruption um, right. Yeah, yeah. Th- those cops could have tuned him up, and that would have been normal. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's 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 see let's see how our our, our poor real estate attorney comes out here. Yeah. That's the only one. Before this, I stayed in. Uh, no, Island. not yours. Okay, I'm sorry. I I want to know if there are others out there that are subject to this. Understood, Your Honor. So to the extent you want to amend it, you got one week. Everybody back here on the 27th, 9 a.m. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. In December 2021. Okay, so, yeah, you you figure that that attorney will say, look, get rid of all these provisions. The judge isn't having it. And and that's that. God, the way that was going, I'm like, oh, boy, I'm going to be pulling on my collar pretty hard. Um, Yeah. That ended very 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 quaintly he's he's a uh, he's really a nice judge i do a lot on him because he's entertaining as hell mm-hmm. happens to be washington county i'm, I'm familiar with because i went to university of michigan which is in ann arbor which is in washington county so i, I but th- oh, that's university of michigan it's like a community college you probably know sure it yeah. <laughs> it's a big community college yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh no i like michigan so that's fine uh wh- where are you in ohio well, I'm actually in Joe Neerman's neck of the woods right now. I'm in New Jersey, but I uh, I practice out of the Cleveland area. So, very very cool. Yeah. All right, this yeah. is this just this is like just... probably two or three more minutes, and I gotta head out. I'm in, going to. That's cool. Well, thanks for coming by. I appreciate. It. This, yeah. this is just a DUI, and I don't even remember it. But do, do you do you ever deal with DUIs? Oh yeah 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 quite a few quite a few. Well, I don't. All right. Well, an Indiana State trooper was flagged down by motorists pointing out a possibly intoxicated driver. While she seemed mildly sober, to the officer's surprise, she blew over four times the legal limit. I decided to share this one because I thought it was funny, and some of the interactions reminded me of some Reno 911 type interactions. As always, I'll go over the outcome of this case at the end of the video. Enjoy. Okay, do you not drive well at night? 
You had not had anything to drink, have you? No. You didn't realize you're all over the road. You're driving in the left lane, the passing lane. I had a guy just stop and tell me, complaining about you swerving, and I got behind you and I saw it. Why are you doing that? What are you doing up here? You on your phone? What were you doing? Huh? How much you had to drink? None. Nothing? Why are you holding your chest? Are you are you diabetic? You haven't had anything to drink. If I test you, I'm gonna find zero. Right? How old are you? Okay, let me see your license. Why are you crying? Talk to me. You what? Insurance to go up. Why? You haven't even got a ticket. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> How much have you had to drink? If I test you, you're going to be zero? Yes, I'm Okay, don't worry about the insurance right now. If, if you haven't been drinking, you're going to be fine, okay? <laughs> if you just can't really can't drive at night. Cause you Officer, we, we all know she's been drinking. Come on. <laughs> well, and he's, trying to build his, he's trying to build his probable cause. I mean, really, at this point, he probably would and could arrest her for DUI. But, you know, he's, he's trying to get her to incriminate herself. So Yeah, absolutely. You want to get, you want to get all, all that you can before you take that step. Don't yeah. see good or something, yeah. okay? If you haven't had anything to drink, you don't have anything to worry about the insurance, okay? Okay. All right. Then uh, where's the red? Okay. Then uh, let me see that paperwork. Who's the car registered to? Mm -hmm. Okay. Where are you heading? Oh, sorry. Can you get that? Can you grab? Where, where are you heading to in Brazil? Um, Do you have a registration? Can I see that? No, I just got the car. Okay. So. Thank What's you, the plane go to? It's on it. Go check out potentially three, criminal. But, but what? But does it go to a different car? Yes. And I asked him. I was like, How long ago did you buy the car? Okay. All right. Okay. Give me a few I'm minutes. Sorry. Give me a few minutes. You're fine. Don't worry about your insurance. Okay. Just give me a couple minutes, okay? okay. Alright, don't go anywhere. <laughs> I'll try not to. Alright. Okay, you put anything in your mouth? Oh, open your mouth up, let me see. You didn't put anything in there, raise your tongue up. Okay, take a deep breath. Blow that tube, keep blowing until it pops. Deep breath. Keep blowing, no, blow. No, no, not no, suck. no. I was gonna say nope, nope. At that point, nope. Yeah. Nope. He's just what helping did, himself. What, what did I do here? Just, just refuse. I mean, I, I would refuse those. Um, because at that point, all he could say, I mean, she's probably toast. Because at trial, he would say she's bouncing all over the road. She smelled like alcohol and was like panicky and crying. He probably say she had slurred speech and her eyes were glazed. But no, if they're asking for you for a portable, they're trying to help themselves get probable cause. They're not helping you. But but you but don't you, you don't you get okay? So I get these questions all the time. Don't you get suspended for that? No, not the roadside things. The roadside machines are not reliable. Those roadside okay. ones are like plus or minus quite a bit. But if you blow on those and you hit. You know, like, I think they're, like, plus or minus 0 0.02. So, like, right. you might hit a 0 0.06 when you're really 0 0.08, or you might blow even higher. Right. They use those to establish, okay, I'm pretty sure you're close. I want you to come to the station. You're under arrest. Use the machine that's calibrated. Yeah, I, I, I feel sorry for this for this girl. Oh, mm -hmm. Debbie's, Debbie's here. De <laughs> Debbie's, Debbie's a very cool prosecutor in uh, St. Joseph County, Michigan. Oh, okay. Um, but, uh, 
this this one I feel sorry for. She, you'll see as it goes on. She, you know, to the extent you're here. By the way, were you watching the Depp Herd thing today? Uh, I watched bits and pieces of it. All right. Yeah, I haven't seen um, you around for a while. I, the last time I think I saw you was on Rakeda or something. We've been on Rakeda and Bites together, I believe. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's yeah. it's all a blur, you know. Yes, it has. The past six weeks have been very blurry. <laughs> yeah, that's been fun. It is. Yeah, but guys, if they offer you the floor, why you then? The answer is no. Really, I, I mean, everybody would say I've had the DUI guy in here too, but everyone would say, "Well, but you're you're gonna lose your license if you refuse." But the portables are not the license losing machine, because the portables are not calibrated to the exacting standards. So, so they, can, the they can they can force a blood test or a breath test, but it's got to be at the station. Yeah, so like a blood test is done on actual medical equipment. The breathalyzer machine at the police station that's actually set up and you have to use, that's a bunch of voodoo and Ouija boards, really. But right. at least it's considered a calibrated machine. The portable ones they have, at least here in America, are not that reliable. They're not meant to be that reliable. Okay, so the, now, now, that, now that I get you in the panel, because this comes up all the time, we, I, I hear, this goes back and forth in the comments. Can you refuse the field sobriety test? Yes. Now that that may give them because remember they're not you cannot pass the field sobriety test technically. No, it's a bunch of check. It's a checklist, and if you check if you hit all the boxes, they'll say you fail. Like you hit all the boxes. If you only hit one out of twenty, they'll say one indicator out of twenty is enough for me to further my investigation. I mean, I've literally tried to ask a, a cop this before, so there's no way I can pass this test. And the jury got really kind of like, you know, gave the guy a side eye, like, then why are you making people take tests they can't pass? Right. Because you set up to fail. Field sobriety tests, they're not trying to help you. They're trying to see how drunk you are. So by the time you refuse, they could say, look at all the other, we have you on video acting like a fool. So, so you would just, so you would recommend just don't take field sobriety tests. Say, fine. If if you get if you have to, we'll we'll go to the station do breath, or you can take blood, but not, the, not none of this other stuff. Yeah, I mean, but then there's also the idea of I mean, if if you're gonna you know like in Ohio for example, if you refuse the first time, it's a one year suspension. Right. Okay. Well, in Ohio, if you get convicted of DUI, it's a one year suspension. Um, now there's issues about you know you might not get work privileges, you might have other penalties. Um, I mean, you would really need to sit down with an attorney about whether or not you blow on the machine at the station. But on the side of the road, that's all you can you can you can waive all of that. You don't have to consent to anything at the side of the road. Right, all the roadside stuff. Like if they, if they're going to escalate to the station and to, or to the hospital or whatever, fine. But the roadside stuff, refuse it. I I would. I mean I would. I mean, I mean that that's you know you're trusting those machines are going to be legit. You know you're trusting this cop is going to be legit and give you a fair shake. You know. There's tons of situations where DUI officer of the year, you know, they get caught because they falsified reports on hundreds and hundreds of people. Um, yep. It's all, it's all revenue generation. Um, and for some of these people, like they're true believers, they're like Dr. Hughes that, you know, everybody's committing DUI. If they stop you and they think you're doing it, that's enough. So right. you don't talk to the cops. You don't, you're, you, you helping them does never, never helps you. So, whether it's for a murder or a DUI, no, you don't help them. All right. Yeah, what are you doing up here? Sorry. You on your phone? What are you doing? Huh? How much you had to drink? None. Nothing? Why are you holding your chest? Are you are you diabetic? You haven't had anything to drink. If I test you, I'm gonna find zero. Right? How old are you? Okay, let me see your license. Why are you crying? Talk to me. You what? Insurance to go up. Why? You haven't even got a ticket. Yeah, everything. I uh, know. I went huh? back a little bit. 
How much have you had to drink? If I test you, you're gonna be zero? Yes, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay, don't worry about the insurance right now. If, if you haven't been drinking, you're gonna be fine, okay? Okay. If you just can't really can't drive at night because you don't see good or something. Thank okay. you, Serenity. If you haven't had anything to drink, you don't have anything to worry about the insurance, okay? Okay. All right. Then, uh, where's the red... Okay. Then, uh, let me see that paperwork. Who's the car registered to? Me. Okay. Where are you heading... Oh, sorry. Can you get that? Can you grab that? Where, where are you heading to in Brazil? Do you have a registration? Can I see that? No, I just got the car. Okay. So. What's the plate go to? It's on it. It'll be through me. But, but what? But does it go to a different car? Yes. And I asked him. I was like, How long ago did you buy the car? Literally one ago. Okay. All right. Okay. Give me a few I'm minutes. Sorry. Give me a few minutes. You're fine. Don't worry about your insurance. Okay. Just give me a couple minutes, okay? <laughs> All right. Don't go anywhere. I'll try not to. Alright. Okay. You put anything in your mouth? Mm -hmm. oh, open your mouth up. Let me see. You didn't put anything in there. Raise your tongue up. Okay. Take a deep breath. Blow through that tube. Keep blowing until it pops. Deep breath. Keep blowing. No, blow. Not suck through it. Blow. Blow. No, blow. What, hear that noise? Yeah. It's going to tell me when you're blowing. Blow. Okay. Blow. Uh uh. Blow. I'm sorry. Do you know how to blow through a straw? Yes, I know. Okay, deep breath. Sorry. Deep breath. Tight seal and blow through that. <laughs> I'm waiting. We're out here in the middle of traffic. Now hurry up and do it. What? Why are you talking to me? Well, because you just, you're him hauling around. I'm not going to sit out here and play games on the highway with you. You either want to do this or not. You're, ha you're him hauling around. <laughs> do you want to do it or not? Because you're, going, you're borderline going to jail for a DUI refusal. I'm giving you the opportunity. Okay? I'm not going to play your games. Well, how do you want me to talk to you? I'm asking you if you want to do something. You either want to do it or you don't. I say yes or no. You're not going to just mess around. Huh? You told me. Told you what? Inhale and then go. Okay, take a deep breath right now. Yes. Take a deep breath like you're going to blow up a balloon. Yeah. Deep breath. Okay. Hold it in. You got a deep breath? Shake your head yes or no. Tight seal on that and blow it out. Exhale it through that straw. Okay, there you go. Deep breath. Blow. Okay, take the breath before the straw. Are you wanting to take any tests or are we just going to play around? No, I'm... No, you're not. You're not. You're absolutely not. Okay? Okay. You've had alcoholic beverages. You're lying to me. I'm not going to stand out here on the road and play your games. Okay. Now, which is it? Uh -huh. Huh? Yeah. You have? Yeah. So why are you lying to me? You want to take some tests? Some field sobriety tests? You want to? Yeah, I'll pass them. You will? You haven't passed this. You failed this. Yes, Candy, that's my channel. And thank you. Because why? An alcohol problem. You want to step out of there for me?
stand right here for a second. I'm gonna make sure your car is in park. Oh, wait until you see the numbers. You're gonna be transporting this female to you. Is that what you have? Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. At the end of it. Did you spill out in your seat or did you throw right. up in your seat? Uh, no, definitely did not. No. What is that? It's all over. You're all wet. Me? Yeah. Uh -oh. No. Some water when I braked. Water when you braked? Yeah. Water from where? What? My husband car. Where you work at? That kind of looks like puke all over everything to me. No, it's, it's not puke. What is it? Definitely not. This is old food. Huh. Okay, you wear glasses or contact? You gonna take field sobriety tests or no? I can, yeah. Okay. You didn't want to do that portable breath test, right? No. Okay. Come back here a minute. I don't know why she does that, but I mean, she she's drunk. Okay, fine. But, I mean, she just blew in, in the breathalyzer. Just take her in. Don't move your head. Hold your eyes. Tell her you're testing me. Yeah. You, why are you turning your head? Okay. Huh? Okay. You're, you're turning your head. Okay. Just follow with your eyeballs. The deal is 3 one seven eight. Debbie, you're not going to follow it. No, I'm going to. No. Okay, that's your last chance, okay? Okay, you're turning your head. And, uh, okay, let's skip that. So in the next line, put your right foot in front of your left, heel to toe. Back up just a little bit. Back up. Put your right foot in front of your left, heel to toe. Okay, hands down to your sides. Just like that. Yep. Heel to toe. Put, touch your toe. Touch. Nope. Line, line that up straight. There you go. Now put that one in front. Okay. Put it right in front of it. Put it right in front. Put that right foot in front of your left. Okay. Like this. Oh, sorry. You said you wanted to do these. I know. I know. Okay. Put your right foot in front of your left. Heel to toe. Hands down your sides. Touch them. Just like this. See that? Heel to toe. Just like that. Go ahead. Go ahead. Touch them. Okay, now don't do anything else until I tell you to. Give the rest of these instructions. When I tell you to, when I tell you to, you're going to take nine steps heel to toe. Every step heel to toe. Okay? When you get to the ninth step, once you keep the front foot on the line. Please, no wagering. Okay, just like this. I want you to pivot around. Take nine back toward me. I want you to count them out loud. Okay. Hands down on your sides. Okay. Every step, heel to toe. Any questions? No. Okay, go ahead and begin. Sorry, I'm really cold. Okay. It'll be okay. Just a minute. We're about done. Go ahead and do that. Count them. I don't hear you. Why not? Because really you're cold? Yeah. It's not that cold out here. It is. You got a jacket? No. Okay. You want to take any more of these or not? No, I do. You yeah. do? It'll be you want to do that one right? Yeah. The sooner you do them right and get them done. I know. I'm sorry. Okay. Oof. I'm just, I'm really cold. I'm sorry. If you do them right, you get them done. <laughs> I can't. I can't take the accent. It's too good. And uh, yeah, he's full of it. There, there's. There's no. There's no getting done. You. You, you just. You just blew a, a test. That's enough to, for them to take you in, and now they're wasting your time. You want to take him or not? Yes. Okay. I do. When we gonna start? Okay. Tomorrow morning? That that a good time to get started on these? Listen. <laughs> no. Well, well then. No. Okay, let's go.
Well, he's supposed to turn off his flashing lights when he's doing his thing. <laughs> Did you not understand the instructions? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, she didn't understand it. No. She's hammered. Come on. <laughs> Uh, did did you like cold. the heel to toe? I mean, I liked it because she did it with confidence. It just wasn't heel to toe. It was a very sassy walk, yes. Yeah, I was just like, he didn't say, you know what, just walk in your usual stride for a couple steps and then turn around. <laughs> I mean, close enough. <laughs> okay. I want right foot in front of left, heel to toe. Every step, heel to toe. Count them out loud. Okay. Hands down your sides. Okay. When you get to the number nine, ninth step, Keep the front foot on that line, okay? And I want you to turn around and take nine back toward me. Okay, okay go ahead. Okay. You don't even have goosebumps. No, I do. Okay. Psyching herself Nine up for it. Two. Nine heel to toe. Do, do you get DUI? Oh yeah, you get a DUIs in there. I remember. Oh. Yeah. yeah, I remember. I remember a DUI that you got a little cranky about. Once so, in a while. Someone might have had a whole bunch of priors that nobody took into account. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You know, weird how that. I won't. <laughs> I won't specify any particular yeah. case. <laughs> no, I mean nothing in particular. So, do, do you get body cam footage like this all the time now? Yeah. That's got to be kind of we fun. Do. I mean, it, it is very informative. It helps a lot. Do, do you end up trying those in front of Stutzman or, or Judge Middleton? No, or those are uh, Judge Middleton and Judge Pattison. Unless it's a felony, like a third DUI or more, then it's in front of Stutzman. Uh, I see. Because I never yes. see those, but you guys, you don't really do the juries on, on on stream, do you? No. I mean, Judge Middleton has said he wants to do a jury trial on stream, but it just hasn't worked out. Occasionally, we'll play clips of body cams, though, for sentencing. Ah. That, I don't know. watch more often, I uh, guess. I, 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 want, I want a jury in 3B. Ugh. You'll just have it, to come and watch it live. I mean, just pretend it's the, the Depp Heard trial, and we'll have yeah. a bunch of law tubers show I, up. I haven't heard. Wait, what's, this, what's this Depp Heard trial you're talking about? I've never heard of it. <laughs> I mean, just very, very briefly. Every step, you to toe. Yeah. Hands down to your sides. Count them out loud. But into the ninth step. Keep that front foot on the line. Give it around. Keep nine back toward me. Yeah, they okay. do. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. I, I don't walking. think it's because of their... <laughs> okay. How about a different one? You have any problems standing on one leg for uh No. Any knee problems? No. Leg problems or anything? No. Okay. I would be better at that one, I think. Okay. <laughs> yeah. How about uh, oh, ABCs, you know? SFSTs. This is the one she's good at. Yeah. Like a, <laughs> like a flamingo. Standing yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a horribly incriminating statement. In itself. Like, this is my favorite part of the field yeah, spreading I, test. <laughs> I think I've got this one. I'm really good at it. I, I, you, home. you know, I, I haven't been paying attention. I don't know where this is, but it's got to be south somewhere. The, the, the accents are fantastic. Texas or something. Yeah, the, Texas would make sense. This? Yeah. Say those for me as fast as you can. Okay. You want me to say it backwards? No, forwards. What? You just asked me to do it. I thought they were doing one like a Go ahead. Loud. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, O, D, E, F, G, Just the ABCs. Okay. You don't have to stand on one leg right now. Are you sure? Yeah, just, just <laughs> the ABCs. Get it. Okay. Let's go. A, B, C, D. She's actually charming. She really does have an alcohol problem, but she's a likable girl. I mean, when I saw that that bottled her particular brand i figured that's yeah a you, you gotta 
you got a bottle of bottom shelf, you know, drugstore vodka. It, I mean, it wasn't five o'clock vodka, but pretty close. I'm, I, I believe it was pop off. I, that's what I'm recalling. I mean, so. I, you know, I'm not, I'm not endorsing it, but I, 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 won't, I won't say that I've never had any. <laughs> I mean, I mean not now in my elevated state, but you know, back in the day. That's not what you're drinking right now. Is that in my in, in my wild youth, like oh, yeah, 50, yeah. 60 years ago. Oh, fountain of youth is pop off vodka, apparently. Then, Speaking of which, 50, I, 60 years ago. I need to officially apologize to you, although I didn't know it. I, I went on last night and I had been in Florida. You know this because. We're buds, but I, I've been in Florida and everything, and I didn't put anything up on my channel. And then I just, I was doing Depp Herd all morning, and then I just threw up a video. And uh -oh. somebody gets on there and just in my comments and just rips me a new one. They said, "Do you do you realize that you did that during a Debbie's stream?" And I'm and I'm, <gasps> and I'm like, "No, no, I'm How not. I, I don't realize you? that I did that during Debbie's stream because I was literally on the trial, got off, put a clip together, and went live." Like I didn't I mean, I, like I television. I had no idea who was doing anything. Yeah. I mean, I, I thought we were friends. I thought you realized little Mikey was going to make a guest we appearance. Our friends and little he, Mikey. Um, I'm, I'm going to come squeeze was, that little Mikey. He was over it by the end. We stayed there. Gosh, we didn't leave until probably eight, eight o'clock or so. So he uh -huh. had been there from four to eight and, he pooped so many times and I felt terrible and I had to like clean up the sidewalk, but everybody loved him. How could you not? He's so adorable, but oh, we did good. Yes. They raised more money at that uh, radiothon than they have in the past. So, and by a lot, I, I want to say it was $141,000 and some odd cents. And last year um, it was like 130 some. So yeah, we had a really good year. Well, that's really good. Yeah, so you still, you still have to find it. You still have to have to find a clip for uh, us to do. I know on your I channel. Know. We're gonna do one on your channel. I really need to. I need to just settle down. No, we chatted. Yeah. You, it you, is you a holiday weekend, me, so and I, you know I'll do it. But you did ask me at a very inopportune time. Yeah, I mean that. that you know how I, <laughs> I roll. I fly by the seat of my pants, right? It's like, hey, in five minutes, do you want to do a stream? That's yeah. that's the problem. That's that's the way both of us operate, and it's just yeah, it's, it's hard it, to put together. It's not a full time job for either no, of us, right. so it's it's very much like when you have a minute, do right. it. So I'm supposed to be cleaning out the garage right now. My husband's mowing lawn, and I was like, oh yeah, I'll go get started in the garage, I'm like. <laughs> In the back porch. Ten minutes. And and hop on Law Talk with Mike. I love it. I love it. Yeah, he's. I'm sure he'll be like, Wait, "Did did you get the garage cleaned out?" Yep, totally working on it right now. No. Don't mind. Or, or I would blame the goats. Yeah, it's it's the goats. I'd be fault. like, Chewy came in here and screwed up all my good work. Yeah, exactly. Chewbacca. He like came right in, just like wrecked <laughs> everything. Pretty good, actually. I forgot. You said to do it without singing. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. Okay. I don't know why I got nervous the second time, but I did. Um. A B C D E F G H I J K X. No. I'm sorry. I get really like confused by lights. Lights. Yeah, okay. uh, I'm gonna block the lights so they can't see you saying your ABCs. Whatever. I feel like you're at this point, like, I don't know. What? I'm trying to get to the bottom of this. Uh, she's right. Uh, she's saying whatever. I, she, she can't articulate it, but she's saying, you know, you're being condescending prick, which he kind of is. I, I sort of like him, but I, I mean, drunk as she is, she's, she's correct on that point. Yeah. Do you um, want to say the ABCs again or not? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. A B C D E F G H Y J K L M N P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. Okay. How do you think you did on those? 
I, I'm really cold. I don't know. I'm shaky. It's December 10th of 21. Even no, though I feel like I did fine, but like I'm really, really cold. Oh, yeah, it's got to be someplace south. And she had water all over her, apparently. So, yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's probably in still in cold, water. but I'm just saying, you know, uh, yeah. you're in Michigan. I grew up in Michigan. December 10th, yeah. you, you, you're not hanging out on the highway uh, chatting like this. I period. mean, sometimes I re uh, there was a first weekend of December a few years ago where it was 65 degrees. We actually went to Chicago to the Brookfield Zoo with the kids. We're like, why is it so so warm in December. Yeah, rare. <laughs> I mean, in general, I wouldn't expect this, except in like a southern state. Okay. Um, all right. One, one more test. Let me get a something here, right quick. Gotta go hide. Okay. What, what I want you to do? Turn around, face me. Okay. The leg of your choice. When I tell you to, I want you. To, Put your, put your feet together, hands down your side. You gotta pick the foot up of your choice and have it parallel, the bottom parallel with the ground. You're gonna point the toe out and you're gonna start counting. Okay? Until I tell you to stop. If you... I, I don't know why. Do, you, do they get very a, stressed right now. Do they get a direct read? Like, uh, 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 she, she gave a, a roadside oh. breathalyzer. I mean, he's got that result already, doesn't he? So, but I does he have it? Tucker, thank you. Oh, he, Tucker wants to be in. No, he'll get demonetized. No kids in here. Um, <laughs> the thing is, the PBT is a last step, generally. You don't ask for them to take it to PBT until they have failed. And when I say pass or fail, it's not really pass or fail. Until they have done the standard field, standardized field sobriety test, SFSTs. And if they exhibited enough cues where it's, you know, you're pretty sure that they may be intoxicated, then you ask them to take the PBT. So I'm confused as to why he like jumped to the PBT first unless she was like, oh sure, I'll take that. But then it looked like she kept dinking around with it and not, not blowing into it properly. Yeah, maybe didn't but get a good read. I kind of missed a part of that when I was trying to log in. So well, yeah, you know so I, I think he's like, instead of marking this as a refusal and just taking you to jail, then we'll try these SFSTs. Put it down, pick it back up, and continue counting. Okay. You have any questions? No. And I want you to look at that toe while you're counting. I thought I lost you for a second. All right. All right, go ahead. As soon as we get this one, we're, we're getting out of the cold air. Okay. okay. Go ahead. I need a jacket. Dad. Okay. After this test, we're going to put you in the heat. Go ahead. Oh, okay. I don't, I don't doubt yeah, it. Then, you, you know what you're doing? Yeah. Okay, you're going to raise the foot of your choice. Approximately six inches off the ground, you have the, the bottom parallel, okay. the sole of your foot parallel with the ground. You're going to point the toe out. Yes. Okay. And you're going to count. You're going to look at your toe, hands yeah. down on your side. You're going to look at your toe and start counting until I tell you to stop. Yep. Okay. Uh, All right, go ahead. Oh, my God. Go ahead. Let me get to where I'm not Don't walk win. any farther out this way, okay? Yeah, I will. All right. I promise. I mean, to be fair, you shouldn't be doing this when it's right, shivering yep. from the cold. That's not very fair. You understand all those? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm so cold. I'm so sorry. You understand the instructions, right? Yes. Okay, go ahead. I did it. Go ahead. Thank you. I'm so sorry. Go ahead. I only literally... Okay. One. Oh. I'm sorry. I... If I had a jacket on, like I would be fine. Okay, we're about we're we're gonna get in the car as soon as we finish yeah, this test. Let's okay. Jacket. Okay, go ahead and finish this one up. Okay. Right quick. I like that jacket. Like I'm really really. Psyching yourself up though. Take those okay, hands. finish this test up and we're going. We're gonna put you in the heat. The time it takes for you to do that, I mean, we could have. Yeah, you say in the heat. I'm gonna be in the back of the car, like. Huh? Do what? I already know. What? You're gonna know. No, but he's stepping in right there. No what? The heat, he's back your car. Tricky. I know. You want to take the test or not? Oh, okay. Fine. Go ahead. Okay. Alright. Oh, I'm so cold. Okay. Oh, okay. So. Come on, 
Good job. Alright. I'm sorry, I'm really hoping to do that. Listen up, I'm gonna read the song. Okay. Good job. Okay. Okay. I must now offer the opportunity to submit to a chemical test and inform you that refusal will result in suspension of driving purges for a year. If you have a previous conviction, it results suspension for two years. Will you take a certified chemical test? Um, yeah. Now, as, okay, if you want to take that, we'll go down there and try it at the jail. At the jail. She took the she she took the the, the portal portable breathalyzer test. She took the, that, and then he said, "Well, you take the the the, the standardized chemical test or whatever." And she's like, "Yeah." See, again, she's like, I don't think that she blew into the PBT sufficient to get a reading. Which, to me, if I were the police officer, I would say, "I'm asking you to consent to a blood test. That way, you don't get back to the station." get her in the 15 minute observation period, wait the 15 minutes to make sure she doesn't burp or puke or put anything in her mouth. Then she blows in the machine. And if she jacks around with blowing into the machine like she did the PBT, then you're gonna have to get either consent for a blood test at that point or apply for a search warrant, which takes time. So this whole time, depending on when she last drank, either her BAC is going down or it's going up. Um, and I guess I would presume it's going down, right? Well, it I mean, should be going down because you're not drinking in front of the officer for crying out loud. Right, but sometimes if people like slammed their last drink before they stepped out of the bar thinking, hey, I can make it home before this really hits me, it will go up. So, I mean, she had alcohol in the vehicle. <laughs> oh, no, she no, no. She drank that, right before driving. That, that's really a thought process? Yes. I, you, yeah, like, like I can take a couple shots and then raise No, no. Me. Mike, remember, these are people that actually, like, that got caught. So their thought process did not work. That's the problem. <laughs> so. Yeah, I didn't, you're right, right. I didn't say it was a good theory. thought process. <laughs> you no, know, it, it's a very faulty theory, but it is their theory. So there are times where you pull someone over and their BAC is going to go up as they're sitting there as it processes. But most people, it's going to be going down. Yeah. Okay. Now, if if if, if you okay. if you hem haw around, I'm telling you, hem haw like again. Like the one that little portable yeah. one I was giving you, it's similar to that. If you play those games, you're gonna get charged with a DUI refusal. Is that clear? You got one shot at that. Yeah. So you can either take it. You Actually, say you want to take it. You give them two samples. Or you can not take it. But if you mess around, it's gonna be the same as set and not taking it. Okay. Yeah. You wanna do it? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Like, can okay. I drive myself to the station right. to take it? Uh, for transportation, I gotta put these on you. Okay. Sam, put hand on your back for me. <laughs> You're not under arrest right now. You're not under arrest. It's just for our transportation policy, okay? And we got. <laughs> <laughs> it's just for transportation policy. I'm gonna use that. that that's that's yeah. good. Figure out what we're gonna do with your car. Okay. okay, turn around, put your hands on your back. <laughs> Those too tight. Um, like, but you said I could get my. I raise them up. I got double. I need my uh, I I feel bad. You're you're gonna see. You're gonna actually feel bad for this because her dad or whatever shows up and oh. it, it gets sad. Oh, okay. Guys, Mike, come get your car. Anybody, come get your car. Huh? huh? Nobody. She's like, Where at? I'm not Brazil? telling anybody that I'm getting Are they in Brazil? Hey, Blaze. Yeah. You want to do this now? That's awkward. They give you practice for the one in the jail. That's super yeah, awkward. Dude. That's where we're going for that certified test. It's practice for going to jail. <laughs> oh, that's so weird. It's 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 dirty. It's wrong. That, that's you said you wanted to that do can't it. be protocol. Please just don't let you that practice cannot. on this. No. You don't want to practice um, it? No, I will. You you will want to practice yes. it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Hang on. Deep breath, take your deep breath. Let's practice that first. Tight seal. And blow. Blow. Keep going. Keep going. Good. Keep going. Thank you, secret my squirrel. Wait, what your guess? I'm guessing point one two. Guess, Mike, point one two. I can't remember. Deep breath. 
and blow until it pops, okay? It's high. Oh, oh, she's about to dip her tooth on that. Okay, okay. It was point, do you drink point uh, a lot? Two, three or something? This shows you're awful high. Yeah, I do. This shows you like a point three four. Yep. Is that right? No. He said point three four. No, that's not right. No. <laughs> It's not point three four. I it's it's definitely under point oh eight. I'll I'll say that right now. Did, did he seriously say point three four? That's or what he two, said. Three, four? That's what he said. He said Dang. point three four. When he asks if she wrong. drinks a lot, she does. I feel like that fifth uh, pop off was just like a just to get started for her. Holiday yes, weekend. Uh, right, and and since wow. she had it in the passenger seat, she may be one of those increasing BAC cases you discussed. It, it very well. I hope not. She'll be dead by the time she gets booked in. If that's the case, I mean. Yep. Thank you. Um, I have no idea, but definitely not that. Yeah. Maybe because you blew through it twice, but. Yeah, I was about to say. I was like, no, I mean, I feel like I she's care, getting increasingly more really. intoxicated sounding as this goes, though. Mm -hmm. Or maybe she's just, like, depressed now. So, do you not have lung capacity? Well, that's even more, like, damning. Like, if you, if you can function at it's such a high blood alcohol level, yeah. then you, you've got a massive problem. That just means you have tons of practice. Yeah. Not practice in breathalyzers, though. She, she showed that. Or maybe if she does, and that's why she was fake blowing in it. Hmm. Well played. She does, well, she does have a favorite portion of the uh, field sobriety test. Yeah. That's, that's the one another bad stand. All of us mm -hmm. are favorite. Ask <laughs> you're just messing around. Why are you saying that? Well, because I know you. I mean, if you're walking around, you can blow through this and blow right, and and you know, I don't know why you're playing that. I'm not playing that. Okay. Well, we'll stop with this, but... Okay, so I'm going to ask you to not quit oh. using the term playing around. Like, I am not. I am blowing into whatever you say, to. She is offended by that. I'm, I mean, I'm showing you what it says. Yes. But at the same time, like, you just keep using the term, like... Oh, you're playing around. You're playing around. So you're definitely gaslighting the entire time. Gaslighting. Gaslighting. Yeah. What's that mean? <laughs> that means that you're purposely using terms to. Okay. How about? <laughs> He's trying okay. to reason with a very drunk Failing person. Failing right to complete the test properly. Is that better? Mm. And no, you're also gaslighting by saying that. <laughs> I hope this is recorded. Oh, it is. Good. Is this recorded? It is. I can't wait to Don't see this play on top of my Good. <laughs> have you put anything in your mouth at all since I stopped you other than that breath test tube? No, I have my hand behind my back, so... I'm going to be snippy. I was just asking. Yeah. Aww. Do you want to say anything oh. to her or no? I don't know if I want to. This is not the first time. Not the first time. Not the first time. I've had an alcohol issue. Dad, why you gotta okay. throw her under the bus? Well, like that? luckily tonight, I on. mean, I don't know. She came to Greencastle in that condition. I mean, she was driving pretty bad. This ain't the and, first uh, time. She just totaled the car about two weeks ago, and the only thing that kept her from going to jail was because it was the middle of the daytime. And they never checked her. Okay. So. I'm not surprised. We've all had a talk with her. She just don't get it. Mm -hmm. So I understand. That's how it happens. I understand. Yeah. That's well, it's the only way people learn. Some of them. I have yeah. a brother-in-law who he had three DUIs in the public end talks. Man, you got dad. Stop. Just stop. Dad's, dad, dad's tired of this. He's. He, I, I wonder if it's like her actual dad or like a stepdad kind of a scenario. Well, he really gave some not great information to yeah. this man who would not have it otherwise, which means now it's going to go to right. the prosecutors who wouldn't have had it otherwise. 
and now we know that you totaled a car two weeks earlier and only skated on it because you got, what did he say, taken to the hospital or something? It was kind of quiet. And, and Dad looks young, too. Yeah. It's well, how old is this girl? She can't be that this old. Age. Oh, this girl can't be that old. And dang, it's high, high for the age. You good? Yeah, somehow she's crashed in the front end of it. Uh, that wasn't like that. We just bought that car. A woman come around here. Take a look at it right quick. Well, Lumber, how you doing? Th I'm like half alive right now. You're, you're half alive? Long oh. Lumber, this is it. This is Debbie Davis. She's nice a prosecutor of Tree B in St. Jessel County, Michigan. Hey, Debbie. Very nice to meet you. I love meeting nice prosecutors. Nice to meet you, too. Oh, <laughs> yeah. prosecutors are so uh, Rob, Rob, Rob practices in Fairfax, Virginia, and was in live at the at the Depp Heard trial. Dun, dun, dun. So exciting. Dun, dun, dun. And, and that's why you and Runkle and DUI guy and and who, who all else, I don't know. None, none of you have had sleep. You're, you're all insane. We're, we're crazy. We're nuts. And the thing is, I'm going to stream tonight, and so is Ruckle. <laughs> you guys are hardcore, let me just tell you. I don't have that kind of stamina. All right, well, well, while we're here, a quick update. Did, did, did the jury buy any of this, uh, any of this d defense today from uh, Herd's team? Rotten Board did a fantastic job. Um, I thought he did an okay job, not fantastic, but I wasn't in the room, so I trust your judgment more in that sense. His courtroom presence. Like, you know, there are, there are people that are just really comfortable in front of a jury. Mm -hmm. and there's no, there's no hesitation in their voice. There's no, uh, there's no awkward movements. There's no reading from a script. He's just talking to the jury. It was that. Yep. And he was so comfortable moving around. Um, and he just hit the points. But then again, Vasquez was also just, I mean, it, it was watching 40 chess. It was so much fun. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I thought I thought uh, the other one. I can't remember her name right now. Jeez, that was uh, Elaine. Yeah, she 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 looked like she's like, brutal. I she's awful. I, I don't she, know she, whether she was having like an aneurysm up there or <laughs> what. Like, it... No, like I agree with you. Rot Rottenborn's smooth. He's got a good presence. He's got a crap case, and he and he stands there like a man and deals with it. Yep. And I think he 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 delivered a nice argument under the circumstance. I just don't believe in his case because I saw the testimony. Oh, yeah. same. I mean, same. But I mean, this is closing. This isn't about the testimony. This is about how good you are as an attorney and how you can spin that. I mean, that's what it was. It was it was theater, and it was the best kind of theater that you got to watch. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. All right. Well, we're, now we're 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 um, engaging in a pointless DUI here. <laughs> you weren't like that the other day. You just bought it like a week ago. Oh yeah. Wonder what that was. Oh, there's. Oh, yeah. Yeah. that was an accident. Nah, that's a, that was great. There's Dad ratting around about getting in an accident. Thanks, Dad. We can ask her. Yes, we live back at I can ask her what she hit. You can ask her. She's, she's probably not going to say or she yeah. knows. We'll ask her right quick. Okay. Oh, right. He's like, you know, oh, I can't ask her, but you go ask her. Hey, you did, did you hit something? Me. I'll just listen in. Yeah. What I, was it? I barely bumped the person in front of me, but they like drove away really quickly. So. Oh, did you see that? Did you they see were probably DUI damage? too. In Bloomington? Yeah. And they drove away? Yeah, they drove away was really it a quickly. Or Are they in um, Indiana? It, no, it would have been like a trailblazer, yeah. Okay, that's the night. I wonder if they're Southern yeah. Indiana with his Purdue sweatshirt and them talking about Bloomington. Ooh, that could be. Right past three. Those accents are Southern, though. We, 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 yeah, but Southern Indiana, they get those Kentucky crossovers, man. Yeah, yeah, they do. E but even like also, in Illinois, like I'll, I'll get a case down, like down and you know, whatever. I, I don't know. Paducah, Kentucky was the the local channel. I, Southern mm -hmm. Illinois, I can't remember where. And yeah, th those people talk Southern like it's unbelievable. And it's the same state. That's but awesome in, that her dad the, like walked her seat? right into admitting to an accident, though. That's mm -hmm. great, Dad. Thanks. 
Oh yeah, he pointed out to the cop. Did you, did you see the? Did you see the property? Yeah, like, wait, her car? car did not look like that before today. <laughs> and I was like, wait, yeah. you could go ask her. Could you go ask her? I mean, she's yeah, in yeah, custody, you, so you, he can't ask mind, her. Exactly. Would you mind uh, possibly just violating any rights that I might infringe upon by doing? It yeah, right, I mean, because if Dad asks you, and I just happen to Thanks, overhear Dad. it while you're in cuffs. Three p.m. I mean, five, five in the evening. Yeah. Wait, five in the evening? This is like one o'clock in the morning? She said she barely Maybe bumped she a trailblazer in Bloomington about 5 p.m. Yep. You're right. The, 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 all these Purdue sweatshirts, this is Indiana. Go Boilermakers. <laughs> I can't believe it's that warm and on December 10th in Indiana. I don't even care if it's southern Indiana. I mean, uh... That's a freakishly warm day. This is a weird anomaly of always being freezing. Uh oh, low battery. No. This was in Bloomington about 5 p.m. and she Probably said somebody that, didn't have answer. She said, "Yeah, car. they said they drove away pretty but quick." But I'm saying. So. Yeah. We'll see what we find. If I don't find nothing, then I won't. She just totaled the car like two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Yeah, over it's down there. Was it? Yeah, because we just had a week ago. So no. I just see Deborah Davis in 3B uh, at the sentencing. Okay, she had, prior she told us a car right beforehand, th th supplied by her father at the scene of the accident. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, now you have, have third-party corroboration of information you never have. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, for dad's sake, I hope that's not your That's all right, yeah. The job, you know. But you unheard. I think he's. I think he just sees the problem she has and thinks she needs to face it. That's it. Yeah. I don't. I really don't think he's a bad guy as a result. I just think he thinks no, it's, think it's beyond bad. my he's control. Just, he's just very honest. She needs to go to jail, and and get help. And I tried to talk her into it, and I can't. And, and now it's time for the authorities to to step in. That's it. Was, was that it? Did, did, did I just? Oh, well, that, that's basically it. That was All right, it. let's just wait, wait, wait. Let me do. Let me do. Oh, look at this party I've got going oh on gosh, here. It's amazing. Yay. I, yeah. I've super got another amazing. clip, but it involves a Michigan judge, and I, you know, I, I can't have, uh, you know, super prosecutor Deborah Davis uh, watching that. You know that I'm supposed to be cleaning the garage right now. And every time yeah. my husband comes around on that lawnmower past the garage and he doesn't see me in there, he's probably cursing me. <laughs> so I'll listen to it, but I'm going to have to log out. But also I wanted to laugh because I had a, uh, an Ann Arbor attorney on a case today. And he, after we're chatting about his case, like, you know, glad I got to call you because I've seen you. <laughs> like, oh, no. <laughs> so... Anyway, it went okay, but it was we we had a good laugh about my. YouTube it's odd you say that because the the judge the judge who uh, who I have another clip for happens to be in Washtenaw County. Oh, uh -huh. maybe this guy's on there, and I'm really gonna have to watch. But and I have spent some time in Ann Arbor, and it happens to be in Washtenaw County. You know, we spend a fair amount of time over there, but more so to go to Michigan games than in court. Never been to the court over there, but go blue. Well, all right. So when I when I'm when I'm dealing with uh, this with Rob here and the whole Depp Heard scenario, what went on in three B? I mean, you can't really say. But uh, is there anything that I need to know about? You don't have to tell me specifically. Is there anything I need to know about in the last week? Ooh, that maybe so I should be looking last for. Last week was rough because I was in. Um, I was in training on Monday and Tuesday in Zoom training, but so I wasn't in court. Um, I don't know. And then there was nothing today. Well, there was some landlord tenant today or some sort of civil something. All but right. All right. Good. That's good. That, that's good. So. It means I can catch up next week. Rob, I don't know if you know this, but uh, the, the, the judge he's in front of is Judge Middleton, and he's kind of a folk hero up here. Did, was he one of those that when I jumped on with you last time? He had, oh. yeah, I think so. Oh, goodness. Oh, oh, I, might, I might have had a Judge Middleton clip last time, well, yeah. But he's had a bunch of, like... There's usually something. 
he's had a bunch of sovereign citizens and stuff, but most mostly he's he's just a chill guy, and 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 people just like him. I mean, Deborah, I Deborah mean, can't say anything because she's in front of him all day. I mean, you get, but you get those good judges, like you really do. You get you get good judges that are there for a good reason, and they've been there long enough where they're numb to the things they need to be numb to, but they're attentive to the things they need to be attentive to. It's a weird yeah. balance that they have it's, to hit. It's actually very similar. You two are very similar in this sense. So, like, I, I know Deborah because I was covering that room just because it was interesting, right? But. Um, Rob it practices in Fairfax, and so he knows the judge in the Depp Heard case. Oh, you have some insights. Sort of like, yeah, like I mean, like I, it isn't that bad, but like I don't know what I should say exactly because I still have to practice in front of her. You know, I, yeah. I, I, honestly, I haven't had anything bad. The thing is, I've been defending her for the most part, and not only for the most part. I think every ruling that she's had, I'll disagree with it. That's fine. I can disagree with some of the evidentiary rulings. But I think as far as how she's conducted this shit storm of a trial um, has been remarkable. It's been she's done a great job. It's been crazy. And she's had the litigators moving quickly. She's been having um, the evidence. Proceed. She's been holding the any- attorneys to. The- yeah. Yeah. Oh, I lo- we lost you, Debbie. Oh. Debbie, we heard nothing of what you said. Say it again. Uh, it's, it, well, guys, you know, it's I'm real. busted. My husband just w- walked in. All right. Oh, <laughs> My husband walked Wi-Fi. in. That's why the Wi-Fi. So. Is <laughs> 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 your, your husband walked in and I you're know. hanging out with Rob he walked and Mike in, he's in like, bad situation. Like, it's bad. <laughs> so, hey, well, Rob, nice to meet you. It was great meeting you. I'll see you around. Oh, well, well, thank you for coming by. You're doing another stream later? Uh, yeah, so I'm going to do... Runkle and I are going to try and tag team something here. I'm going to do a quick stream breaking down defamation law. So the, okay. the, jury, the jury is now deliberating, and they've been released for the weekend. And a lot of people were hitting me on Twitter going, Rotten Warren's argument, the First Amendment stuff made no sense. And I was like, no, 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 you don't understand. Like, the First Amendment is the place we start. The speech is right. presumed to be protected and then you have to push it into an unprotected category and then right then you, you sort of yeah. have to overcome that presumption yep so i'm going to try and do a stream breaking down defamation law from start until we get to the implied defamation and a virginia sp- specific supreme court case on that one and then i'm going to kick it to runkle on his stream and he's going to do a breakdown of what we saw in the courtroom Ooh, yeah pretty good right well, I don't want to step on on the technical thing, but d- send me a link to the Runkle thing when you're done. Because because no, when you're like trying to explain law, you just don't want any guests. You just want to like do it. Explain the law, yeah, yeah. But the Runkle thing, I think I'm going to send a link to uh, Natalie Wisco. Was like, I can help moderate. I was like, why don't you jump on stream? Um, so I'm going to try and send a link out to the Runkle stuff because his observations in there, and I think that's going to be more discussion because. For those in the chat who have ever seen uh, Runkle and Rob, when Runkle is exhausted, it's it's an experience, man. Um, he, his his brain is as bad as ADHD as mine is. And right now he said to me earlier, he was like, my last two brain cells are fighting against each other. Right. And I was like, we're going to get through this. We're going to get right. through this. Right. And, 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 and his baseline is, is quite a genteel intellectual sort of guy. But yeah, he can spin out. Yep. <laughs> he can definitely yep. spin out. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna have some fun tonight, and the more people I can have there to kind of help me navigate him, because I have to cut him off. Because he, if he starts going sideways on me, it's like a witness that goes wayward. Like it's like you just like you're like, hey, 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 witness. No, back here, right here. Right. No, this question. Well, if you need the help, shoot me a link. I, I don't I don't know how long I'll, I'll go um, because I'm gonna have I'm gonna have a cocktail as I do this next one, but. Hey, what are you watching next? Um, this is, this is, oh, that's, that's why I kicked her off. I, I love Deborah. It's literally, I was like watching her because she's in that room and it's really fun. She was probably in the video if, if we were watching 3B. But then if it's a Michigan judge and I don't blame her, she's like, I don't want to discuss a Michigan judge. I'm like, I get it. I would do the same thing with an Illinois judge. Yeah. Pro- and and it, it, there's a difference between prosecutors and defense attorneys and, and civil litigators. And to be honest, Askarati made my job easy. I don't have to she's handled this trial so damn well there's really nothing i can say that's negative right 
if she was screwing up all over the place, I'd, I'd be like, you know what I would say? I would be like, I just wouldn't say anything anyway. Yeah. Yeah. No, but she, she's handled this trial so well. And right now the jury has it. And man, I, I it's freaking awesome. All right. Well, let's see what we got here. Oh, this man. court does recall the case. We will reverse this Chris Nick. James Gallagher, Assistant Public Defender, on behalf of Michelle Kresnick. Uh, Ms. Kresnick, uh, if you could please state your name again for the court. Michelle Kresnick. She, when she when she gets into the waterworks, it really put, it really puts me in mind of Amber Heard. And Your Honor, thank you for the opportunity to meet with Ms. Kresnick. Uh, I, we could address the bond uh, violation first, if that's okay with the court. Yes. What is, yes. What is uh, Your Honor, I did uh, go over that with uh, Ms. Kresnick, and she was aware of it, Your Honor. She had already been in communication uh, with Community Correction. She's She's taking it extremely seriously, Judge. I explained her options, uh, and she wishes to uh, admit to the violations, and then uh, we could, uh, I could say some words on her behalf in regards to what the court may do. All right. She admits to the violations. Oh, God. Go ahead. What do you want to say about this? Because that's a rather high level. It is, uh, Judge. Uh, fully recognize that, and uh, as you can tell, Ms. Kresnick's um, uh, taking this extremely seriously. She understands the court's concern here uh, and the serious. I didn't know why I was saying high level because it's point oh eight, but I'm thinking DUI, and what this is is a bond violation. She's not supposed to be drinking at all. Oh, so Can that's a relativity about- scale. So I, I get what you mean by high level. Like his head. What's that? Can we talk about what the public defender has on his head? Like, is he navigating air traffic control? <laughs> like, like he's like, yes, you're clear, you're clear to land on runway 6B. Uh, <laughs> this, taxi, taxi this, this poor guy, this this poor guy, uh, he he does all he can for, but it, it, the, the client's not helping him. This nature of it. Uh, what I was suggesting for the court to consider, uh, as noted in the bond violation report, she's on a sober link. Uh, I'm asking the court to consider uh, having her fitted with a uh, scram tether. Uh, I want to know what happened. She admitted oh. the violation. I want to know why this happened. Sure. Ms. Kresnick, do you want to go ahead and address that with the judge? Um, which portion? I want to know why. what happened. Why did I have a positive test? <laughs> God, I love him. It really sounds. Speaking of which, can you turn your mic up a little bit, Rob? Yeah, like, yeah. I don't know how, and Alita yeah, always knows yeah, how. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't know how to do that. Give me a second. I'm not that advanced. We're going to do this, and we're going to do, I'm going to keep talking, and you're going to do this. Is that better right there? Yep. Yep. Right. Is that money? Yep. Yep. That's better right there. Perfect. Good. Okay. Yeah. You know, I, I really should like pay attention to how to do this and learn how to, to, to adjust it myself, like Alita does. It's really <laughs> stupid. Um, I was at a barbecue and my son gave me a slush and I didn't know that there was anything in it. I know now and I couldn't. (laughs) I I see from your face you have the same reaction to that. I was at a barbecue. My son gave me a slush argument. (laughs) Yeah. Like, can we back up? Like, what? Yeah. I didn't even know. I just paused it here. But like Cedric Simpson's uh, demeanor says it all right there. Top center. Exactly. Well, probably so because things. I've been so used to just drinking things. I don't oh, have no. a good excuse, Your Honor. I don't have a good one. It's it's a poor one, and I told Mrs. Wild, Miss Wild. And I didn't. I I I I don't have an excuse. I just don't have he, one. He's looking at priors right now. I'm I I I don't have I. I don't have an excuse. It's completely my fault and my responsibility. Oh, it certainly is. But I'm having a hard time believing that it was just one drink. One drink? No, 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 no. He gave me two slushes. And you couldn't tell after the first one? Sir, you got it's embarrassing you to say that to maybe I just don't eight. even wreck. I'm sorry, sir. Pardon me? You almost got to, you got to a point oh eight. I understand. <laughs> and I think that it's just because at this point, after so many years of just not even tasting it anymore, 
Oh, please. And your Honor, what, is she, what is she wiping away? Because you know what? She's going to have to give me something better than that. Because well, I'm going to tell you, you're, no, you're, I'm gonna tell you what. It's, it's, it's my dog stepped on a bee all over again. It really is. It's terrible. It's a gallery. <laughs> the problem I'm having is presumably since at least the time that she's been a rain, since the beginning of this month, she hasn't had anything to drink. But the reality is I arraigned her on April 6th. She didn't make it 10 days. <laughs> Understood. Before we detect alcohol. And, Und by the way, it's not like I have an old three where somebody may have taken one drink. I've got, she's at an 08, effectively. Fully understand that, Judge. What I was going to suggest is if the court could order that she get involved with treatment, uh, because uh, I've been in communication with Ms. Kirby in regards to this, uh, that may be advantageous to her in terms of uh, possible resolution. No promises, of course, from the prosecutor. But um, Before I'm going to order anything other than jail, she's got to tell me. Okay, I can't take him seriously now I'm looking at his headphones. <laughs> I know. You, you you heard, tell, me, tell me you heard that. I mean, tell me you heard that. He's like, before we can go any further, I need you to taxi right on the <laughs> left runway. And then if you could please be in a holding pattern, there is a 737 coming up on your uh, starboard side. Uh, let him clear, and then we are going to put you in a pre-flight uh, checklist. Oh, the, the the headphones don't work, and the poor guy, he's doing a really good job, but the, the client's just horrible. Truth about what was going on and what she was thinking, because I don't believe what she's telling me. That doesn't make any sense. So I'm going to pass it and give her an opportunity. You, I, I've been doing this for a little bit. I, I understand. And what she's telling me... That doesn't make any sense. So I'll pass the matter. We'll call it up at the beginning of our, our um, what's that, 2 o'clock block? 2 o'clock. Uh, 2 o'clock block. So she can think about what she wants to tell me. Because what she wants to tell me or what she tells me is really going to sort of meet out what I'm going to do with it. Thank you. I'll pass. Okay. Thank you, Judge. Like, go find some onions and cut them up really fast. <laughs> Slightly. Okay. Court does call the case of the people versus recall. Krasnack. Caitlin Kirby on behalf of the people. James Gallagher, Assistant Public Defender on behalf of Ms. Krasnick. And uh, Ms. Krasnick, if you could please state your name for the judge. Sure. Michelle Krasnack. I'm having a hard time hearing. My volume's all the way up, so I, I keep putting the phone to my ear. Okay. And Judge, uh, I, I did have some further discussion with her. I think she does have some additional information for the court. I probably thought so. Ma'am, what do you want to tell me? I, I did suspect there was something in there. <laughs> and then you kept your also, I'm no. sorry. Go ahead. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. No, go ahead. Oh. I'll let you finish. I, I also wanted to tell you that um, after this happened back in November, October, November, no. I did go to my doctor and um, I asked for something to help be better. Um, obviously, I know that um, there's consequences to what I did, but I want to be better, not only just to not be in trouble, but I wanted to be better for myself and for my okay, kids. Pause, so pause, I did pause, get... Pause, pause. Um, a what prescription for naltrexone to cur what what is going on down bottom right look at this dude like he's like <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know and then look, at, look at mr fortin over here he's like uh lady you need a better story than what you're giving right now and he's looking up at Jeff <laughs> oh yeah like, the, uh, yes, the stray reactions from other from other people just just on the Zoom call is uh, is always fantastic. Like like the next defendant will be sitting there like holding back the laugh. You know, it's beautiful. Herb, any cravings or um, anything like that? So I have been taking that since November, and I have been attending um, AA meetings with my girlfriend down the street. So I have been proactively trying to be better with all of those things. I have started a new job just recently. I can't 
can't stop looking at the guy in the bottom right. I've never done anything like this before. Oh, please. And I'm really sorry. And scene. <laughs> Treasure? Tell me why I, tell me why I shouldn't send you to jail. Because I am so very sorry and I don't want to have anything to drink. I don't want to have anything. And I'm very committed to this to this sobriety and to being a better person, not like I said, not just because I'm a, afraid of getting in trouble even though I am. Um, but I I proactively want to be better for myself <laughs> and it really is something that i am taking very seriously yeah. so two kids if that's, that if that's if that's true why did the 16th even happen Are we i'm, I'm sorry i can't hear you like it like if it's I'm true now, you're taking all of this yeah, seriously why on the 16th did this incident happen? I wish I had a good excuse for it. I just don't. I don't want to excuse any of that behavior. I don't want to make any excuses for it. Just that it's, it is not going to happen again. <laughs> look at, look I can't, at I can't make look any sort nails, of excuse. Hold it together. Yeah. Uh, w w way better than age. That, 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 that's an indictment of, of Amber Heard right there. That was terrible. That was horrible. What did you do? Literally, I sat through that whole trial. This this woman is, is awful and trying to be manipulative and, and very transparent. And she is slightly better than Amber Heard. Uh, I'm not going to give her that much. <laughs> I mean, like... I did, I did get a very good look at the inside of her eardrum, so we know that she Q-tips and cleans the inside of her ears <laughs> as she puts the freaking camera up to it. Oh, God, man. But the other people in this, the other, the other people in this hearing, they're characters. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you, you do have to gauge this, and certainly we do it in court. We're sitting there with the case and 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 sitting in a call, and we see we see like things explode in front of us. We think, oh boy, and we're recalibrating us before we step up in front of that judge every time. I can only just beg for some mercy. Yeah, this Ladante nails enjoys this a little too much too. I saw it. Further down. Oh, look at Fortin. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I don't know about this. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is getting worse. And he knows it and everyone knows it. It's crazy. You know, the problem is You had a chance. Just so that we understand what happened here. You correct me if any of it's wrong. Sure. Ads. Stop overpaying for sunglasses. Oh, it's crazy Lord. that the most expensive thing you're wearing I is also the most time. fragile. Nope. Meet Shady Rays. Sunglasses ah. made for living. So on the 16th. Into the evening, you blow a point oh eight. You're then supposed to retest every fifteen minutes, and you didn't retest. Then even after that, I mean, and at that point, quite frankly, Miss Krasnick, and this is the part that bothers me. You know you're caught. Oh yes, I have. And then they ask you to come in for an ETG. And you don't show up. Look at Fortin. Look at Fortin. Look at Fortin. <laughs> <laughs> I 
So I'm having a tough time believing I, I that you're committed to anything. I, I understand that. I understand. I understand how the optics look on it. I really do. I really do. I understand the optics. I really do. Yeah. Okay. PR lady now. Yes. <laughs> I have never been in trouble before. I don't do these things. Give her a couple days. I can't. I don't. I can't see anybody. What do you mean you can't see anybody? Oh, now I can see you. Now I can see you. The screen oh, went black. That, okay, so like you were crying and now you're like fine. By the way, that's called mouth blocking, and it is inherently deceptive. Let me tell you something, ma'am. I'm just going to try to make this as clear as I can. Um, even in everything you're saying, you are minimizing your behavior. Yep. You are not accepting any of this stuff that you done um, on this. You had numerous opportunities, even before this gets to me, to kind of come clean, kind of deal with it, take the test, just accept it. When I first asked you the question about you knowing, I mean, and you went in with your attorney, Presumably, when you came out, you, you really kind of lied to me then that, yeah, okay, I drank this, but I didn't know. And so every chance you get, you just either minimize your behavior or you just say, well, I didn't do this. Now, here's the thing that I also know. You're also telling me, well, I don't do this. I don't get in trouble. This is my first. The cold-hearted reality is this is just the first time you've been caught. You didn't just do all of a sudden do something wrong and then this, this just happened. And so ultimately, you got to take all this seriously or not. I mean, you got your choice of what to do. I understand. But you also can't minimize it. You can't just say, I'm not going to do this. You didn't, you know. <laughs> Think about this for a moment. You tested, you drank when you weren't supposed to drink. You didn't make it 10 days from the time of the arraignment, and I put you on that tablet. You didn't make it 10 days. So don't talk to me about any type of medication that you got back in November, because obviously you're not using it properly because you didn't make it 10 days. Ouch. Then at the 10th day, when you roll, you then decide, well, I'm still going to try to cover up because I won't then follow the instructions that they gave me that I have to retest a positive blow. And so you didn't do that. So then we also then give you the opportunity, God bless the people at Community Corrections, to then try to even deal with that so you need to come in for an ETG. And guess what you do? This person that wants to deal with this, you don't show. <laughs> and so this is just a series of mistakes. It is. It absolutely is. And I don't want to minimize any of it. And that's why I don't want to give any excuses. I don't. I don't want to minimize it. It is super. You started weird. with excuses. You like started Mel. with excuses. Like, this chick's all bullshit. Uh. I listened very closely to what your counsel said and what you said. Oh, my kid gave me the drink. Okay, they went there and got you the drink. <laughs> and if you're going to tell me you didn't know what you were drinking, eh, I don't believe you. 
Look at Officer Powell. You're right, by the way. James Fortin is, is the sleeper in this video. I, yeah. I didn't focus on him at all, but but his, it, like throughout, his facial expression is fantastic. Yeah. And then <laughs> and then the client behind Attorney Bruce uh, Sappers to something, the client uh -huh. is reassessing. He's reassessing his life right now. He's like, I don't <laughs> like where I am. I, I Ladante Nails is is pretty good, but I just happened to catch him on a stray moment. But but Ford is and yeah. There's there's lots of other good stuff in the other squares here. You started the whole scenario that way. Thank you, Patrick. Clay County. Okay. Problem is, your case is such that, at least as alleged, that you were almost a point two zero. You had an accident, and so if I just accept what you're saying, that at some point, what's going to happen is, you know what, you're going to feel that it's okay to just to get into a vehicle, and at some point, you're going to take somebody out. Not happening on my watch. <laughs> yes, you Stop. are. That's what happens. No, I understand. I understand that that's what happens. And then what would happen is, is that you'd give some excuse. No. Just no. like today. Yes. It's my fault. Yes. 100% my fault. Just like today. Pardon me? Nails is Just like, like today, this chick here on you screen. would be Look giving some excuse. No, I don't have any excuses. So on the violation, you're right, you don't. And Judge, I would just... Um, I've shot them all down. Go ahead, Mr. Gallagher, what do you want to tell me? Well, I was just going to say, Judge, and, uh, you know, we've, I've been practicing for a while, and this court's been on the bench uh, for a very long time. But, uh, you know, I think, um, you know, that's, this is someone who's uh, obviously struggling, and one of those first steps is acknowledging, uh, you know, that they, that they do have uh, an alcohol addiction issue. And I think some of the... Um, I guess some of the reactions that we saw from Ms. Kresnick are very common of someone in those beginning stages that, uh, you know, kind of denying or, or playing off that, uh, that they don't have a problem, uh, when in actuality they do. And, uh, you know, I, I think she's coming to that uh, realization just in my conversations with her uh, and in hearing her in court here today. Uh, we would just, I would just ask the court to take that into consideration. <laughs> that, and of course, the 747s I have to land. Yeah, well, I'm taking exactly. it into consideration. <laughs> okay, Judge. I mean, she's done better, maybe, than some. Right. Right. What's, what's the sum? Five what I'm going to do, ma'am, is I'm going to order this. It's now 2.30. I'm going to order that you report. <laughs> yeah, yes, the felons, basically. Report to the Washtenaw County Jail by 6 p.m. today. You will serve, instead of the five days, I will give you some benefit, and you are to serve three whoa, days whoa, in the whoa, Washtenaw whoa, whoa. County Jail. Was, was, was Miss, Miss Roth up there drinking a tall boy? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I, I, is there more? Back uh -oh. up a little bit. She, so you Upon your release from the Washtenaw County Jail, I, I don't know if yeah, I can, you will then I can be this. reported over to Community Corrections. Your sober link will be switched out and you will be placed on the scram tether. We will be monitoring you 24 7. Understand. <laughs> Sorry, I just I'm going to give you blanket. I'm sorry. I just started a job on Monday. I lose my job. 6 p.m. today. <laughs> Understood, Judge. This matter will adjourn over. Please, I don't have anyone to take care of my kids. Please, Judge, please. Wait for this. Please. <laughs> so... Who would have been taking care of your kids had you killed yourself in the accident? Oh, God. <laughs> so turns out to 518-2022, 9 a.m., 6 p.m. Thank you. Thank you, Judge. 
Delta six two five. You just the one they went in. Wow. Now I th- yeah he was on last time you were on. I had Cedric Simpson, but I might I might have had a Judge Middleton clip as well. I can't remember. I love Simpson. He's 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 the man. He he's a good judge right there. He he got me with uh, who's going to take care of your kids if you died in that accident. Oh my god! Where is he going with it? Yeah, I mean, yeah. this guy's been sitting on the bench a long time, and he's like, I'm I'm not buying this crying fit. I'm I'm buying it in the sense I I don't doubt that you're upset, but you're not swaying me with it. Yeah, because you're still not saying like I did a bad thing because I did this and it was my call and it's not everyone else's fault. That's that's the that's the guts of the whole thing. There is just re- is that, is that the Amber Heard feeling you got? Or not? What is that like the that's like the Amber Heard feeling you got? Like everything is everyone else's fault and not mine. Yes, just that sense of it, and it's very common. I mean, it's, that's you know that's what we have in the world. But if she would have gone up and said, "I absolutely screwed up. I just wanted to have a drink and I shouldn't have, and I did it, and it's my fault or whatever," he would have just. Pled, gone along and said, "Well, she's on the road to recovery. We'll deal with it." And and would have done the nicest thing he could think of. But she tried to bullshit him. No. And no, nobody likes to be bullshitted. Nobody on the planet. But and the fun, I mean, and the funny thing is, people get into a courtroom and they think, they think that the judge and the attorneys in the room haven't literally seen everything that you're about to say right <laughs> ten million times before. Like, right. I mean that that that's what the man does all day, and he does it. He's 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 a good, compassionate judge. There are so many out there. I like I focus on the judges that hap, happen to have their calls placed on YouTube, and there are, I have favorites among that group. But I'm just saying, you, you've had this experience too, because you're like me. I mean, you, you're out there. So, for instance, nobody knew about the uh, Judge Escarate, whatever, who's who's doing the dub her job because it, until it was on here. But like, she's a good judge. I love her. Like I'm, I'm I, I can name you, I can name you, you know, fifty really good judges in Illinois, and I can name you twenty-seven really horrible judges in Illinois too. I'm not going to, but like I could. They're out there, but they're, they're not on YouTube, so I can't. I can't tell anybody about it. I just have that experience personally, walking into the courtroom and then leaving. Yeah, I mean, Askarati is she's done a great job, and one of my favorite parts was when they did the uh, jury instructions argument because it was you got to see her sarcasm like you got mm-hmm. to see that come out like in full force it was like oh so you have an objection to this one too i thought we weren't going backwards anymore counsel like all of this crazy fun stuff yeah like i thought she called it really straight it was really nice like to this moment i don't see her really leaning for one side or the other she really tried to be, to like for instance Whatever leeway she was giving on hearsay objections, she wants to give to both sides. Correct. Uh, or or foundation objections or, or anything else you can yeah. think of. The, the one thing is I think she's a skosh, and this isn't bad. This is not some grand criticism. I think she's um, probably slightly too nice, and I say that I think Elaine was walking on her today blatantly lying in her oh, closing yeah. argument. I, and I then, didn't like that part. What you guys then, could be – there was a part you couldn't see, though. There was a part you couldn't see on stream. So, council table for, at depth side, Ben Chu had his hand right over that microphone button, mm-hmm. and he he was like poised to object, and he had objected like two, three, four times. And you know the rules. Like when you're objecting in argument, it's the jur- It's very. It's the most off putting thing to a jury. Yes. And it was right before lunch, and. Mm-hmm he was right there and he hit two or three and he won a bunch of them. And then she gets right back out there and starts playing this dance again. And it was to the point where Ben Chu and you could, what Ian and I saw was Vasquez reached over like behind Johnny and like grabbed his arm. Like you need to object. And you see him lean forward and he stops because he's realized he's already done like five and he's going, I can't keep in the jury. And Elaine can see him out of the corner of her eye, and she knows he's not going to do it. So she just pushes the envelope even more. And it's it's one of those things where it's it's a strategy move, and that's where you have to be really good on redirect. And that's where Vasquez came in, and where that's where she hammered home on redirect. Because the other thing was when Elaine was saying all those misstatements of evidence and misstatements of fact, it opened the door for Vasquez to come in and say, 
that was misstated. This is what you actually heard. Yeah, and it really was. That's the last thing they heard from him, and it really did set uh, set um, her, uh, Camille up for that. But the, but you do have to make a, a strategy decision there. Do we object to it now, or do we do we clean it up and redirect? Um, but a, lo- a lot of judges would have said, you know, the one objection fine, where she's just misstating the evidence because she was. A second objection on that. I mean, most judges I'm in front of would say, look, you know, I, I get one more of these. You're looking at sanctions or something or, or you yeah. know, th- this is not going to be pretty for you. Yep. She was and, testifying. Yeah, she was testifying. She was she it's OK. She she <sighs> Elaine is not very good. I, I mean, th- th- is in my estimation. And I, I don't mean to be mean. And she had a lot of hard work to do. Over, but I just don't think she's a very talented attorney. And she and her her thing is, I'm going to cheat. Well, and let's let's rephrase that, Mike, because I don't, I, don't, I don't know if it's that she's not a talented attorney. She's not a talented in court litigator. She cannot right. adjust very well. She might be the best attorney in the world at pleadings, motions, practice, depositions, all of the above. But you put her in a courtroom setting where she has to adjust on the fly. She's demonstrated she's not capable of doing it. And she skirts that line between um, what's questionable and what's unethical as far as what you can do right. in argument. And she dances that line really close. And it puts Ben Chu in this weird position where he's doing that. He's hovering over the mic, like hovering over the mic and just trying to make a strategy call of, do I have enough leeway with this jury to hit her a couple more times? Yep. No, that's I, I, I saw the same thing. When, when people are like that, they, she uses dirty as a crutch. It's like, well, if I don't really know how to handle this, then I'll just go dirty. I'll just I'll just I'll go outside the rules. And one of the things that they, they do in this heart, it, it ultimately usually backfires in that circumstance. But it, they use it against people like Ben Shu is not is not skirting the line. You know who else? Rottenborn wasn't. No, well, he was, you, was, you may or may not like what he was arguing, but he was, was arguing straight up like a litigator. Yep, and that within, was clean. Within the bar. That was that was clean. That was a beautiful closing argument. That was clean. He he did a fair and accurate interpretation and articulation of the law, the standard, and the facts. He stayed within the rails, and that's right. why he didn't get objections. But that's also why he was so effective. And that's when you see his comfort level, where he's walking around. Um, He's walking right there in front of the jury, back and forth to the witness stand, touching. He's there's that comfort where he knows this area and he knows he's safe. And it was a very stark contrast between what you saw with him and then what you saw with the dumpster fire that was Elaine. Yep. Yeah. And, and you, you know, ultimately, it's like you, you're not supposed to do that for ethical reasons or whatever. But honestly, it doesn't work for strategic reasons either, though, because I don't think the jury's buying it. When you come, when you go, when you just make up stuff that wasn't in evidence, um, that's irritating as opposing counsel. But if the jury has half half a brain, and they often do, it, it's it doesn't work for them either because they're like, wait a second, you're arguing things that didn't happen. Mm-hmm. But I mean, it, it, it can on occasion work for some. So it, uh, it's, even if she it's has horrible. one, if she has one juror, which is my concern, it's that juror E, mm-hmm. uh, juror five on the far right hand upper side. I think that's that's the juror that Amber has looked at the most. That's the juror that I've had the hardest time gauging. And if that's her juror and her skirting that ethical, ethical line puts in that juror a, a seed that you cannot unplant. That's what she's going for. Well, in that sense, it very much is. She's very much in that sort of criminal defense. This is a civil case, but she's very much in that criminal defense mindset of, I just need one for a hung. Yep. She's there. I I don't think, I really don't think they have any illusions about winning their counterclaim. No, no. You so, saw that when, I mean, she came out and openly said, like, she was like, Johnny Depp chose 50 million because that was what he thought his injury was. And, you know, we chose 100 million to to show him what we thought ours was. I'm like, mm-hmm. you, did you just openly admit to, like, having no actual factual basis for your 100 million claim? All right. Where are we here? I just got a good question. Uh, someone, I uh, can't find it. Where? I can't find it now. Oh, there we go. It's simple, but it's. I, I think Tuesday all day long, but I want to hear hear Rob's thought on this. Yeah, so the, the jury was released with instructions not to look at anything in the media, which good luck to them. I mean, <laughs> honestly, good luck, good luck to them. 
it's crazy. Um, they come back on Tuesday. They're going to start. Uh, they go straight into liberations at 9 a.m. They're not even going to be in court. They're going to go straight to the liberation room. Um, and the court is going to resume regular court proceedings. Judge Ascarati has hearings on Monday or on Tuesday. Uh, and there is going to be a line forming on Tuesday, um, line forming on Tuesday to get in there to wait for jury deliberations and verdict. And they have to wait in a empty courtroom. And when the jury has a verdict, Judge Ascarati is going to clear her courtroom, allow the people right. to come in from the empty courtroom to sit in there. <laughs> And hear the verdict, and they're going to do that every single day until the verdict is reached. I, this I don't is a wanna, fucking madhouse. Wait, I don't want to be the attorney who's who's got a perfectly legitimate motion to compel up because, like, oh, they haven't answered discovery, and and Escarati's like, come on, man, I've been doing this trial for seven weeks She's now. She's so I, tired. I don't want to hear this crap. And and literally, I'm just sitting here waiting for the for the uh, the four person to say we're ready. That's yep. all she's doing. Yep. So pull up that next one because I'm gonna, I'm going to answer that one. Then I'm going to jump off and and get a shower and take like a ten minute. What, what's nap. the next one? There's a super chat just came in five. Uh, little guy up there. The green. Scroll. There you go. Yes, I know which two juries were dismissed. It was the uh, jury number two, which is the second in from the left hand side on the top row. Um, I pegged him as pro dep or rather anti herd. Um, he was, uh, Ian called him the boredom canary because his <laughs> facial expressions could not, he couldn't hide when he was bored with the evidence. He had a listening device that helped him with assisted listening device. And there were some times when Elaine would talk and he would just take the damn thing out. Um, and set it down. <laughs> I don't need to know this shit. Yeah, exactly. And then the other juror that got uh, that got yanked was I had her pegged for the four person if she was still on the jury. Um, the middle aged Caucasian female front row center. Um, and when she got dismissed, and they they indicated that that she was dismissed, you could she was visibly irritated that she was dismissed. She had been very attentive. Uh, she warmed to Johnny Depp's side, and honestly, I think she had. She had really warmed to Camille Vasquez. When Camille Vasquez started speaking today, she had this really nervous, quivering tone to her voice. And you could see juror uh, H slash eight would like she was opening up and like looking and smiling at her like, it's OK, honey, come on. You can talk to us like it was really kind of cool to see. Um, but I pegged her for kind of pro Johnny towards the end. She was kind of a she was very stoic in the beginning of the trial and she really opened up to be pro Johnny. Those two were dismissed. Um, so we'll, we'll see, uh, I'm going to probably do a breakdown over the weekend with Spidey from behavioral arts on everything that we saw. Ooh, uh, I'd like to see that too. Yeah. And he's, he's probably going to release that video on, on Sunday, but we're probably going to film that tomorrow night. Very cool. All right, go get a shower. Thank you for coming by. I really appreciate it. Dude, I love these. These are so much fun. Plus yeah. Judge Simpson, you throw him on. I'm just going to fucking love it. <laughs> <laughs> he was the bomb today. All right. He's awesome. All, All right. right. I'll see you later, buddy. You know, you're you're going to be on later and you're going to do what well, you're going to do one on, on uh, the actual substance of defamation in Virginia on your own yep. channel a little bit. Yep. Yep. All right. Cool. I'll, Long uh, number. I'll Everybody go there. Like, subscribe. The whole All deal. Right. See you guys. All right. Bye. Ah, well, thank you all for coming out. I, I did not see that coming. We had we had three guests. We have potentially criminal, lawn lumber, and of course our good friend, the lovely and gracious Deborah Davis. That was that was a lot of fun. I thought this thing was going to go about forty five minutes an hour, maybe, and uh, we're, we're pushing two hours now. But it was super fun. Thank you all. Oh, I also I also promised you that it wasn't about um, Amber Heard. And then, you know, a good portion of it turned out to be about Amber Heard. But that was the only discussion. I didn't have Amber Heard clips. So there. There. I was not uh, I was not clickbaiting you. It, it, it was there were no Amber Heard clips. Only Amber Heard Johnny Depp discussion. All right. Thank you all. I will see you soon.